Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Dulce Dez here and I'm doing a review on Chambray Virgin Hair. Okay, so this hair is from Chambray Hair. No, it did not come in the color green. I went through a whole process getting it to this lovely forest green color and I'm about to tell you about it now. Okay, so I bought this hair from Chambray Hair. I bought three bundles. I bought a 20 and two 22s. And then I bought an 18 inch, 18 inch five by five HD closure. Whew, there's so much to say in that sentence. This is my first time buying an HD closure. I was kind of nervous because I heard about HD closures being a little delicate and you can't be as rough with them as regular lace closures. But I'm really shocked and repulsed by Chambray Hair's um, lace closure. Like this HD closure, like, sis if i had it if i had it glued, I, this wig is just placed on my head but if i had it glued down what if i had it glued down y'all couldn't tell me nothing i really really like this hair i'm getting a little tangling up here girl come come down we are on video but um yes yeah, so like i said 20 to 22 18 inch closure i bleached the hair the hair came out to a beautiful 613 color in the first try. I didn't have to re-bleach it. I was so shocked that it came out to a, a like, I wouldn't say like exact 613, but it was pretty up there. And um, I'm just shocked that it came out to that color. And then after washing out the bleach and um, neutralizing it and washing it and shampooing all that, the hair still acted beautifully. It wasn't acting full. Sometimes when you bleach hair, it can just start just, tangling up and just hitting the percolator like the hair was at under control and I really like that about chambray hair so after I bleached it I bought about maybe five yeah I want to say about four or five bottles of kiss colors temptation hunter green um and I put it all over the hair so this is what I did wrong uh I let the hair the hair was still wet so after I bleached it, washed all the bleach out and everything, did not put conditioner in it because you want to put conditioner in it after the color. So I didn't put conditioner in it and I just let the, the hair was wet. Then I deposited color onto the hair. Never ever do that. Don't do that. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, oh, it's green. It's blonde. It'll mix. No, the color did not attach to the hair when it was wet. I don't know why. Maybe I just... I have so many things in my head, I'm not sure why it didn't attach, but I put the color on, um, uh, let it dry, I washed it out, let it dry, made the wig, hated the color. Color was terrible. It was 16 different greens in my hair. It was lime green, it was apple green, it was dark deep forest green, it was just grass green. It was so many different greens and I had had enough. I was like, this, I can't go out. I, I was, this is my birthday hair. And so I was like, I cannot go to Vegas with all this different color green. So I went, <laughs> I drove all the way to Oakland and at like nine in the morning, as soon as the hair store opened and bought all of the Hunter Green that they had. I think it was about six bottles. So I bought six bottles of the Hunter Green, came back home and re-dyed the hair. So the hair had already been um, washed and dried. It was air dried. It was dry, dry. So I wanted to make sure the hair was dry before I put any color on it. So I came back home, put the color on it. I let it sit. It was either between like six to eight hours or overnight. This was a while ago, so I, my memory's not too good. So it was on there for a long periodically time. And so um, I let it sit for a while, then washed it off. And then the, the color was just so rich. It was everything I, I dreamed of and more. It was beautiful. So yeah, if you guys are planning on using their hair, I would say let the hair dry first after you bleach it, then deposit the color because if I had done this like right before my trip, I would have been so mad. Thank God I had enough time to like re-dye the hair because if not, I would have been pissed. But anyway though, I really love the hair. So when I wore the hair to Vegas for my birthday, it was flat ironed and then I had a like a side part in my head and it came out really cute. I'll show the pictures now. Now 
yes so i really like the hair straightened out um this week i decided to try something different with the hair the hair is in the natural wave that's how i ordered it in the natural wavy um pattern so i washed after vegas i washed the hair um and then decided to put some crimps in it some waves in it so that's what you're seeing right now so yeah you're seeing the waves in it it's okay you know it's cute or whatever i don't know i don't love it as much as when it was straight when it was straight i felt like a baddie I really felt like a baddie and then with the side part it was everything i feel like i may need to go in and pluck it right in the front because it is a little thick up here it is a little thick i did bleach the knots as you can see but it is a little thick up here i might need to might need to pluck it out just a little bit but um i really like this hair i'm not getting much tangling much shedding and this isn't even chambray's raw hair Y'all, this isn't even the raw hair. This is just the regular schmaggler, their virgin hair. And now I've tried other companies who they claim, they claim this is raw hair. This is raw hair. You need to buy it because it's raw hair. And then I get home and it's tangling on me. And then I get pissed because I spent all this money and you're claiming it's raw hair and you know, the videos you show on your site and your Instagram page are just, you know, your hair looks like butter. Then when I get home, I'm like, I, I, I can't get my fingers through it. <laughs> Baby girl, help me understand. Like, I don't understand. So for this hair to be not even classified as their raw hair, I am, I'm very impressed. Very impressed with like, the texture, the shine, I didn't have any tangling in it. With all the processing this hair has gone through, I would expect tangling and so much damage, but girl, like, like there's no tangling. There's body, there's movement. It's soft, it's not rough at the ends. Like, I will definitely, hold on, let me, let me get close. I will definitely be buying. No, let me look in the camera. I will definitely be buying from Chambray Hair again. Y'all, to be honest, I got a, a closure on the way now. <laughs> I bought another HD closure for them because I was that impressed by the hair. I bought another HD closure. I'm planning on putting it on another, some other hair that I have. Um, the closure that I have on that is raggly and I don't like it. So I'm planning on remixing that wig and making it look real nice, real sexy, real, you know, all that. So I'm really, really impressed with the hair. Like, they're not paying me to say this, y'all. I just follow, um, what is her name? I can't remember her name, but she promotes them all the time. And I was like, let me see what this hair is talking about. And customer service was beautiful. A1, they answered my questions. I, I went to the site. I think it was around um, Black Friday. And I was like, hey, the site is down. I guess lots of people were on the site or whatever. They're like, we're sorry about that. We In a couple hours, it'll be fixed. And when it was fixed, they messaged me right back. The site is up now. You can put in your order. Thank you for letting me know because I really want to buy your hair. Customer service is a one and when somebody treats me with great customer service i'm already back i'm already willing to get do you want more money because when you treat me like a human being when i go out in the world and i'm not treated like a human being like i'm treated beneath people because of the color of my skin because of my gender i hate that so when you don't even know what i look like and you're still sending me like wonderful customer service i have to like give you props on that so that's wonderful. Only thing I wish for Chambray's hair, Chambray Hair's Instagram page is that they had a little bit more pictures of customers using their hair. I think that would be awesome because they do have like one or two um, influencers who use their hair. Sometimes they post pictures of other people's hair, like other like um, other hair artists or beautician, whatever you want to call them. They'll put their hair and they'll say exclusively like, this is not our hair, but we love this style. I love that. But I wish they would post more pictures of their hair, more customers with their hair. So 
Um, that's the only thing I'd, I would say they need to fix about it. But other than that, I really love this hair. I would definitely buy from them again. I was like really shocked and repulled how great this hair turned out. So yeah, I'm so excited. Like finally a hair company that I can trust that is based in America. Um, because just sometimes there's a language barrier with Chinese companies. A lot of times they can be really rude. They can be more rude than these ghetto companies out here that be right at your beauty supply. They can be really rude. They have been rude towards me claiming that I was trying to steal or something. I'm like, something happened with a closure. And I was like, my closure is like shedding a lot of hair. They're like, no, um, you're making this up. You're trying to, I was like, oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> I just spent my money on this and you gave me crappy product never never shop with them again so i'm happy to find a company based in america actually they're in california and they have quality here they have great customer service i will definitely be spending my money with them again i feel like for the longest time i've been on here and i can never find a company to say good words about a lot of my reviews lately have been like this hair is trash and the hair has been trash but i can finally say i found a company that i really like and will stick with and the hair is I don't want to say affordable because I don't know what you're what you guys can afford. But um I did get the hair on sale during um Black Friday, so that was a plus. Um but other than that, like I I wouldn't mind spending the amount of money, like regular price for this hair. I really wouldn't mind it at all. So yeah, I'm I'm talking a lot. I need some water. This always happens in my videos where I just go on and on and on. And by the end of the video, I need water. So I'm going to stop right now. Please like and share my video. Please, if you have any questions about this hair, something I didn't talk about in this video, please leave it in the comment section below and I will get back to you. Um, Yeah, please subscribe to my channel and um, I'll be back with more videos and more hair and makeup videos for you guys. So thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for all my new subscribers that are new to my channel. I appreciate you guys so much. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.